Welcome to the vibrant and enchanting city of Winston-Salem, North Carolina. Join us as we embark on a thrilling journey through the top 10 things to do in this captivating city. From historical wonders to cultural gems, Winston-Salem has something for everyone. Number 10. The Frank L. Horton Museum Center. The Frank L. Horton Museum Center is named after Frank Horton who was known in the Winston-Salem area as a researcher of the decorative arts. As such, the center also houses the Museum of Early Southern Decorative Arts, also known as MESDA. The building used to be a historic grocery store until it was restored and transformed into a museum and there are static and rotating displays and galleries here for visitors to enjoy. Number 9. BB&T Field BB&T Field is housed at the Wake Forest University and is capable of holding up to 30,000 spectators at one time, making it something of a powerhouse venue in the region. The field is home to the Wake Forest Deacon Demons, a local football team, so if you are in town try to catch a game here and enjoy the atmosphere. Signature touches in the field include a 90-foot video board so that you won't miss any of the action. Number 8. The New Winston Museum The New Winston Museum is a relative newcomer to the museum scene in Winston-Salem having been founded at the start of the 2000s by local residents who felt that they wanted a memento of the history of the area. The museum is dedicated to educating visitors about the historical significance of this city, and you can learn all about the founding of this area as well as its progression from small town to the city that it is today. To complete its aim, the museum is filled with historical photographs as well as other written historical documents such as letters that tell the story of the people that made this city such a success story. Number 7. Historic Bethabara Park Go back to a different time to see and feel how Winston-Salem would have been back in the days of old. Bethabara Park used to be a religious village that was used by Moravians who came to the region over 250 years ago and much of its historic beauty is still preserved to this day. The park is known for its gorgeous indigenous species of birds and bird watching as a popular pastime here. As well as admiring the local avian life here, there are flower gardens and hiking trails for visitors to enjoy. If you want to learn more about the Moravians who first settled here, as well as the history of the park, there is a visitor's center and some restored buildings that are also open to the public. Number 6. Children's Museum of Winston-Salem. For younger visitors to Winston-Salem, consider a trip to the Children's Museum of Winston-Salem where you will find a range of engaging exhibits aimed at young minds. The displays here are interactive and educational and there is a dedication to developing key skills such as literacy, coordination, and social awareness. To that end visitors can expect fun galleries with activities such as drawing, building, reading, and painting available, and there are play areas throughout the museum where children can burn off some energy. Number 5. Renolda House Museum of American Art. If you are interested in American art then you can't miss a trip to the Renolda House Museum. This powerhouse of American art pieces has over a hundred items on display, and there are both static and rotating exhibits to enjoy here throughout the year. As well as the artwork on show, the museum itself could also be considered a work of art, as it is housed in a period mansion that is nestled on 20 acres of verdant landscape. Number 4. Old Salem Museums and Gardens. Very much a community-run project, the Old Salem Museums and Garden were first restored by local volunteers starting way back in the 1950s. This tradition has endured over the years and a variety of historic buildings and gardens have been preserved so that visitors can continue to enjoy them to this day. The museums and gardens are found within the historic district and you can tour, eat, and even shop here as you learn all about the cultural significance of Winston-Salem. Depending on the buildings, you can take a guided tour with a friendly docent, or you can choose to stroll around at your leisure and take in the sights on a self-guided walking tour. Number 3. Southeastern Center for Contemporary Art. Also known as SECA, the Southeastern Center for Contemporary Art is the best place to come to get a glimpse of the emerging art scene in Winston-Salem. The center showcases the work of a variety of local artists as there are rotating exhibits throughout the year, and there are also displays by national and international artists as well. As well as actual artwork, there are also film nights held here as part of the Film at Seca program, and the center also periodically teams up with the Metropolitan Opera to deliver musical evenings throughout the year. Number 2. Black Mountain Chocolate Factory If you have ever wanted to visit a real-life chocolate factory then you need to come to the Black Mountain Chocolate Factory which is conveniently located in the downtown area of Winston-Salem. 
The factory is open to the public who can enjoy a self-guided tour here, or you can also join a tour with a friendly guide who will explain to you how the factory came to be, as well as taking you through the process of making the chocolate. You can also buy a range of the factory's products on site so this is perfect for anyone who has a serious sweet tooth. Number 1. West End Historic District The West End Historic District in Winston-Salem is the place to come for anyone who wants to learn about the historical and cultural significance of this part of the United States. The area is full of buildings that date back as far as the 1800s, and have been preserved for all to see in the modern day. There are over 500 buildings here for you to visit, including houses belonging to several of the founders of Winston-Salem such as the Poindexter House and the Zevely House. This part of the city stretches over 230 acres, but you can wander around selected areas on foot and take in the gorgeous period architecture that includes the Queen Anne, Colonial Revival, and Classic Revival style. We hope you had a fantastic time exploring the city's rich heritage, arts, and natural beauty. Don't forget to hit the like button if you enjoyed this video and subscribe to our channel for more exciting travel content.